Department of Communications and Digital Technologies, together with the University of Johannesburg and uh, Tswana University of Technology, are launching an Artificial Intelligence Institute. Minister of uh, Communications and Digital Technologies, Kumbuzo Njabeni, gives an address. This institute is not going to focus on research. It's going to focus on ideation and experimentation. Because research has garnered a stigma of being long-term and not commercializing or going to market. But when you do ideation and experiment, then you, can put, you put it to test in the market, and then the commercialization takes place. And I'm hoping that when we launch this institute with these two universities, we are not only the alma mater of me and the, and the deputy minister, it was just coincidental. They host the largest student population in South Africa who are from historically disadvantaged background. So the multiplier effect of what we are doing here, it's impactful in terms of those who are going to immediately benefit and the communities that will directly benefit. But what is also important for me is that we are then saying Institutions of higher learning can no longer teach and produce content for their own gratification. It's not longer about the amount of research work that you produce per year. It's the impact of that research work that is produced per year. How much we make social impact in our communities. Because like Professor Marara's grandmother, education only becomes knowledge when it makes a valuable impact in the society and the community where it, the people reside. And universities and institutions of higher learning or any other institution of learning must make an impact in the society that we live. Because if we make that impact, it will mean universities and institutions of higher learning in, in their own collective, they will no longer be churning out graduates that are going to roam the streets of unemployment, but they are going to churn out graduates that are going to make a meaningful contribution in society and become job creators in their own space because they would have learned about AI and, the, and its day-to-day -day implementation. In any case, that was just an antidote of what the, both the two professors have said, and I would not want to be chicken, that's why I'm here. When, when President Cyril Ramaphosa perceived South Africa participating in the fourth industrial revolution, he envisaged a country that kept pace with the latest developments in Internet of Things, data analytics and artificial intelligence and other emerging technologies to support economic growth in line with the vision 2030 of the National Development Plan, commonly known as the NDP. I'm pleased that today and within a short period after the finalization of the report of the Presidential Commission on the Fourth Industrial Revolution that crafted South Africa's roadmap to exploit opportunities offered by the new economy, we are launching the Artificial Intelligence Institute of South Africa. The objectives of the Institute are designed to ensure that we do not compete as countries, universities, research institutions and businesses, but rather as centers of excellence, government, academia, and industry, we work together in a unique partnership to apply our collective knowledge, expertise, and experience to implement coordinated solutions of some of South Africa and Africa's most critical and long-standing challenges to take the continent forward. The nature of AI as a general purpose technology, which encompasses all economic sectors, has led to many countries developing approaches to harness their ability to take advantage and spearhead their global market dominance in this domain. Poised to radically transform our world, such technologies are optimizing solutions to some of the most critical challenges facing the world and the continent. From better access to financial services and education, to improved agriculture and healthcare systems, to name a few. In particular, the role of the Artificial Intelligence Institute from a global perspective has witnessed huge international interest from governments, the private sector, academic institutions, civil society and other stakeholders. There are a number of factors that make the establishment of the AI Institute of South Africa significant. Foremost to this is the partnership of the University of Johannesburg through its Johannesburg Business School and the University of Twane and Twane University of Technology, TUT. These two academic institutions involved 
and they will serve as hubs. So is they are not launching another institute? Is they have we have one institute, but we've got two hubs. The one hub is in UJ, the other hub is in Tswane uh, University of uh, Technology. This these two instit uh, institutions or their hubs will have demonstrated an array of initiatives that they have grasped the implementation of AI as a tool for economic advancement in various sectors. You had Professor Maloleke explaining what TUT is strong in, in, the, in terms of the work that they are already doing. Therefore, the establishment of the AIISA AI Institute of South Africa takes advantage of already existing initiatives within the country and bolsters our chances of success. Between yesterday and this morning, I was in, uh, doing media interviews and I was asked, Minister, you are launching this thing. How confident are you to succeed? Have you started? I said, we are confident because the work that we are talking about, it's already underway. There's nothing new that we're starting. We're simply consolidating the work and coordinating that work for impactful and uh, meaningful contribution and enhancement. In addition, these two hubs have identified their areas of strength. Professor Maluleke has explained some of the areas in terms of TUT, which includes the automotive, manufacturing, transport, tourism, telecommunications, farming, healthcare sectors, and the future of work. I don't know why he didn't single out the future of work that I went to launch uh, earlier, I think two weeks ago, three weeks ago? It's not that long ago. We, yeah, the 4R yeah, the the dialogue, dialogue for, for the future of work. work. While, While the UJ hub will focus, focus on industries such as the value chain of manufacturing, retail, agriculture and farming, digital mining, the energy sector, fintech, digital banking, digital identity, and the criminal justice system. This is the first phase of many phases to come, where UJ and TUT will serve as AI hubs that feed into the AI Institute located here at the Johannesburg Business School. The TUT AI hub is planned to be launched early next year, Prof. And so we are going to gather again with, and we're going to report on the progress made thus far. The ultimate goal of the institute is, to, is the creation of a network of AI hubs linked to key catalytic projects across the country and centers of excellence across SADC and the continent that have specific focus areas to ensure no single region in Africa is left behind. It is important, program director, to emphasize that this pioneering collaborative approach of the AI Institute as an innovative ecosystem working to coordinate AI-related technology solutions for South Africa, the region, and the continent. I am pleased to announce that in 2023, the AI Institute will establish four centers of excellence with other universities in South Africa, will do the reveal and the TUT hub and at least three centers of excellence in other institutions of higher learning spread across the continent. The establishment of centers of excellence linked to the AI Institute across the continent, at the African continent, will not only confirm its scalability, but to also to bring together the best African minds in order to develop solutions to African challenges. This is in line with South Africa's commitment to an objective of creating a better Africa and a better world. Our view is that if Africa were leading in technology development and science and innovation, we would by now have had vaccines for malaria, would have had vaccines for Ebola. And it's an opportunity for this institute to work to make sure that we resolve Africa's problems in the most fitting manner. Therefore, the Institute closely follows the African Union's Artificial Intelligence Continental Strategy for Africa, which includes a focus on human capital development through the investment of AI on AI literacy across all youth and economic sectors. Undoubtedly, developing talent and ensuring the education system equips learners and students with the skills needed in the 21st century economy will be critical for the success of both South Africa and Africa and the AI ecosystem in its totality. 
As stated in the PC4IR report, the purpose of the next version of our skills ecosystem will be to leapfrog our youth into productive work and reskill current workers for job retention and ongoing productive work in the economy. The skills demands of the fourth industrial revolution era require stakeable competences which are micro detailed, industry aligned and allow people to enter and exit the system at multiple points as part of a lifelong learning process. Developing local digital skills and enabling the youth to innovate is also critical in reducing Africa's reliance on foreign AI technologies or foreign technologies in general, which may not be matched with the local developmental priorities. It is also critical that African countries, instead of importing technologies, actively support the utilization of locally developed products and companies so that they may become global competitors. So, so, ladies and gentlemen, the AI and the use of technology present a significant opportunity for the implementation of the African continental free trade area. If Africa is to successfully come together as one market under the free trade area, inclusive of digital technologies and value chains, those will be critical. Current challenges such as the lack of infrastructure may be overcome through the development of innovative solutions. For example, digital systems can enable cross-border trade through accurately recording and collecting taxes while ensuring all checks and balances are observed. There are many more examples of how digital technologies and AI can support Africa in its journey to, sustainab to sustainably and inclusively achieve its developmental goals. What is clear is that the continent has a unique opportunity to not only address its economic challenges through AI, but also develop and build its competitiveness in this area. And the catalyst and the driver in that path of making sure Africa can build its competitiveness and also catalyze itself is this AI Institute of South Africa that we are launching today. Therefore, the AI Institute ushers a new era in South Africa in South Africa's digital transformation efforts in stimulating economic growth, addressing unemployment, and creating positive social impact. It is estimated that the adoption of AI within the various sectors of South Africa alone would save 19 billion rands per annum through addressing the phenomenon of employee absenteeism due to fiscal constraints caused to the productivity of the economy. It is also stated that the expected gross value value add of AI in enhancing economic output will be over 7.3 7 billion US dollars over a medium term uh, uh, framework period. It was noted that All right, that is the official launch of the Artificial Intelligence uh, Institute uh, taking place uh, here in uh, Johannesburg. Uh, there was, of course, uh, Minister Kumbuzo Jabini, the Minister of Communications and Digital Technologies, uh, launching that. It's in conjunction uh, with the University of Johannesburg as well as uh, TUT.